Good morning, Tech fans. Uh, we're here with our next edition of Tech Talk, and I'm here with head football coach uh, for the Louisiana Tech University Bulldog, Skip Holtz. Uh, so, Skip, thank you for joining me today on this edition of Tech Talk. Well, excited to be here. I mean, the prestige and the honor that goes along with having the opportunity to be on Tech Talk. I mean, it's really, truly glad that we can make this work and we can put this together. Thanks for yeah, having me. Yeah, you know, it, uh, every, during this time, everybody's got to be flexible, and then you never know what the market's going to happen. I might have to have another career. So, uh, <laughs> you know, I, and, you know, speaking of, I'm going to go off script a little bit, but we, uh, you know, you're, if you ever thought about doing TV or commentating, I know you know your father had a great coaching career, and then you wind up doing uh, several years, uh, you know, doing analysts and having a show. Is that something you ever see yourself maybe at some point doing, or is that not of interest to you? No, never say never. I mean, yeah. like my father said, he said television wasn't real hard for him. He just talked until he thought of something to say. <laughs> so, I mean, for for him, it comes really natural to him. But you know, it is. Uh, it is, it's a lot of fun to do it. I enjoy this aspect of the profession and what we do, but doing it as a profession, I don't know if I would, I don't know if that would excite me every morning getting up, but certainly excited to be with you today. Yeah, no, and, and certainly and uh, you still have that, uh, yeah, exactly, part, but together, the new the new norm. So speaking of new norm, what kind of, tell, tell us, tech fans and folks out there, your new norm and how are you, you know, continue to keep the team together, even though they're not physically there. And, and how how are you managing that with your staff? You know, this has been um, it's been a challenge, as it has been for everybody in the country, and obviously, uh, well, not just the country, but the world, as everybody's trying to handle this new norm. And I think for the staff, I could not be more excited for the job that these guys have done. They really wrapped their arms around this football team. We were uh, all of a sudden everything shut down. We were operating mobily, uh, getting everybody on Zoom, getting our team, being able to communicate with our staff. We now have a staff meeting every single morning. We cover everything from academics to the national news with what's going on with Corona, mm -hmm. how many cases have been in. Uh, Lincoln Parish, none yet at the university or with the students or faculty. I mean, uh, we cover a lot of that. We cover the academics. We cover recruiting. We talk about our signees. We talk about our players. Uh, first two weeks, those meetings have probably been about two hours or so. And then we've branched out from there to try and stay in touch with our players and our parents. I uh, mm -hmm have challenged the staff to stay on top of this new norm uh, with what we've gotten into and uh, they have done an unbelievable job. I am the dinosaur that I am electronically and I even have a fancy background now as we get into Zoom. I'm very proud of you. Yes, this is, this is how we operate now and so uh, I do think in the long term it's probably exposed us to yep. some things that are going to be able to help us in no the long doubt. term. You look at recruiting and having the opportunity to have these one-on-one -on -one face to face meetings with some recruits, uh, but also uh, interviews, uh, things down the line. And when you communicate with somebody, they say 70% of communication is visual. No it's not as much what you say as it is the mannerisms that you say it. And so I think these Zoom accounts and a lot of these apps that are given everybody the vehicles to, to video conference call has been outstanding, but I think it's been a huge part of how we've been able to keep everything together. So uh, we had to carve out some time in the day for tech talk. This was the highlighted part of my day today uh, to have the opportunity to do this. But then, like I said, with recruiting and just staying in touch with players, it's most, it's most of your day during the day. And then in the evening, we get an opportunity to have some family time together around the dinner table. Yeah. Well, speaking of that, uh, let's let's talk about what uh, what's all not on the dinner table because uh, I know if I know you, it involves a green egg or or <laughs> something. But let's talk about what's on the TV. So tell me the TV show or or maybe series that you're watching, and then maybe some movies that you're catching up on, or maybe you're going back to the well on. But just give us a glimpse into what's on the TV screen at the whole house. You know, one of the things I try and do at night is is go through all the. Uh, academic updates that that everybody has written during the course of the day, recruiting updates as we have got very active Google drives uh, with all of those that are kind of in real time that can be updated every day. So uh, I spend my evenings kind of reading through some of that, but we have gotten in 
Uh, last night, I was introduced to The Voice. Uh, okay, good with, one. Thought it was an excellent show, and I was only told that it's the 19th season, so I don't know where I've been for <laughs> the last 18 of them, but uh, I kind of got updated a little bit yesterday, and so we kind of started into The Voice. Uh, some of the series, I've gotten into uh, Narcos, uh, yeah. watching that. Then I've gotten into Peaky Blinders was a good one. That's a good one. Kingdom was a really good one. Uh, like everybody, I got sucked into the train wreck of uh, Tiger King, I think is what it's called, <laughs> which was like two trains that are coming at each other from about 100 miles away, and you know they're going to hit each other but you just can't turn away. I mean, you just have to keep watching it. And so watch some of the types. Truly, I am being in indoctrinated and learning more about Netflix and a whole world out there that I had no idea even <laughs> existed. So uh, like I said, there's probably a silver lining in there somewhere, and I'm definitely having the opportunity to catch up on my Netflix. There's no doubt. Well, I I've watched several of those. I have not done the Tiger King yet. Uh, although I'm, that's something that I anticipate. I may be doing that one by myself. I'm not sure Jessica will, will get on board with that. But uh, <laughs> anyway, it's uh, yeah, it's just at that time where you're catching up. And, you know, when we did this, I was challenged a little bit by Lane Burroughs. I, I did uh, a tech talk with him last week, and he said something that's really still stuck with me. He said, you know, he was listening to a podcast uh, or something, and a guy said, you know, hey, two or three years down the road, when we, when this is over with and it's way in our rearview mirror, when we look back on this time, um, or did we get better? Did we get better as husbands, you know, as fathers, uh, as, as your professional, as for you as a coach, or for me as an AD? You know, what did we do at this time? Did we sit around and wait for it to clear? Did we try to find a way to get better? And uh, I've tried to just be challenged by that myself in that, you know, uh, this time of year particularly, uh, we have so many events, uh, softball, tennis, uh, right. baseball going on, track and field, spring ball would be going on right now. And uh, that time would be, you know, less spent with my family. And so although we're all jammed in the house and we make the jokes and everything about, uh, you know, wanting to kind of kill each other, the reality is I am getting to spend that time uh, and I need to make the most of it. I need to be inventive on what we're doing as a, as a department and how can yeah. we move forward? How can we do those things? So, I think it's a good challenge for all of us. And, uh, you know, uh, and one of those things would be, how do we get better? We got better watching our Netflix series and, uh, and catching up on the rest of the pop culture in the world. So, but anyway, I, I thought that was a good challenge. Uh, I, I think it's a great challenge. And it's one of the things that we've talked about as a staff was I truly believe the staff that does the best job of organizing, in April, May, June, however long this goes with their team and can keep them motivated and stay on them academically and stay in contact and, and truly, because the two biggest things that this has taken away from us as a football team, one, it's taken away the structure. And I think that is a big part of our repeated success is the structure we've had during the off season and the way that our players have bought into it. Um, and so one of the challenges is to create structure for ourselves, just like that challenge is for us personally, to create structure in your day, to maintain, if somebody, everybody's always said, you know what, man, if I had more time, I would oh, get yeah. done. There's no doubt. Well, yeah. we're, we're on a 45 day, hit the pause button. And it's like somebody said to me the other day, you know, I always said that if I had time, I was going to clean my garage. I have found out that that's not the case because <laughs> I, I still haven't cleaned my garage. So yep. uh, I think one of the things is, A, how well can we create structure through this that we're going through right now in our personal lives, in our business lives, in our programs. Uh, but then for us, the second part and the thing that it really takes away is it takes away our togetherness. It takes yes. away our brotherhood. It takes away our team bonding. And that's when I talk to these players, the biggest thing they miss is the interaction with each yeah, other. Sure. We have had an opportunity. We've had the, really, we take it as a luxury to do that every single day. And that's been taken away from us. And so how do we maintain those, that brotherhood and those bonds of the football team? And how do we maintain that structure? The two biggest challenges we have as a team 
but I also think it's the challenges that we have individually. How do we stay in touch with people? Uh, you spend this time, you reach out more to family members and people you haven't talked to in a long time. You try and be a better friend to people. I mean, uh, it, is, it is a challenging time for all of us, but I also think it can be, there can be a lot, a lot of silver lining and we can help make ourselves better during this, which is Lane's challenge, which I love. There, there's no doubt. And quite frankly, if you go back in history and you look at some of the biggest companies and, and most successful um, industries of our time, uh, they have come out of uh, difficult challenges or tragedies or the Great Depression. And because they were the ones that became innovative, they were the ones that were thinking beyond their current circumstance. And when the dust settled, they were the ones standing. And so, uh, you know, we, we want to have that mindset as well. Uh, speaking of, of, uh, of re remaining standing, uh, we've had six straight years of, of uh, being able to host up a tro trophy at the end of the season, and it's just been remarkable. So not only going to six bowl games, but being victorious in those. We have put out a, a Twitter hashtag uh, this week with, that was just hashtag best bowl moment, and it was of the Skip Holtz era. Coach, I know it would be very hard for you to – probably say, you know, oh, this was my best because you probably, um, you know, you're like a father to, to birthing these children, you know, and, and there's no way to say that's my favorite. But maybe there's a couple of bowl memories that stick in your mind of your mm -hmm. best bowl moment um, uh, that, that you may want to reflect on or talk about. And I'll read a couple of fans who tweeted in and, and talked about their best bowl moment. Well, you know, for, for us, it has been, it's been memorable. I mean, it's been an incredible run and I can't, thank the players, the coaches, the fans, everybody that have really, that have made it possible over the last six years. But I mean, for me, it would be impossible to pick one. I mean, obviously you go back in the heart of Dallas Bowl and the performance that Houston Bates had against his own te old team in yeah. Illinois. I mean, you go from there to down to New Orleans and what an incredible environment when we played Arkansas State, and one down there. Then you go to Fort Worth and you have that incredible game, last second game winner. Uh, had to put a drive together when they scored with about a minute to go and uh, the incredible performances of Trent Taylor and Ryan Higgins and so many guys yeah. in the game. Uh, but then Jonathan Barnes kicking that game winner and with them being ranked, uh, the blessing that we had going to uh, Frisco, the Frisco Bowl. And probably one of my best memories was truly celebrating with the band and our fans after that game. Yeah. Right? And was playing neck and our players are climbing up into the bleachers and everybody was celebrating uh, what an atmosphere the experience that these players had the opportunity to do in Hawaii when we go to Hawaii and you ask them when they come back what was your greatest bowl <laughs> memory and they talk about going to a water park in Honolulu and it was like you know how many water parks we flew over to get there <laughs> We could have made that a whole lot easier. Uh, but the great memories of being in Hawaii and the memories those players will have for a lifetime, uh, I thought last year's, uh, just a couple months ago, obviously is fresh in everybody's mind to, to finish the year out, a year that we were frustrated with the way that it ended, but to have the opportunity to go to Shreveport, to play in the walk-on bowl, to have – the fans, when we ran out of that tunnel and to have the, our fan base and as many people that were there, electric atmosphere, environment, hard fought football game to win that. Just, um, we've had some great, great memories. And I could go on and on about so many individual performances, but yes. um, creating memories for sure. No doubt. And uh, to that, uh, we've had a couple of, uh, of tech fans that tweeted out and uh, Cole Albritton, uh, said that uh, his best bowl memory was uh, the first shutout in Independence Bowl history for sure. Hashtag best bowl moment. Uh, Richard Roy said, we kicked the field goal to win the game as the, as the rain start to, as starts to come down in Fort Worth. On a side note, Bobby Holly goes to, the, to do a chest uh, high bump with a teammate and smashes him. My best bowl moment. So, uh, Richard Roy and Cole Albritton, we do appreciate you participating in our hashtag best ball moment. And I'd say for me, you know, they're the same thing. We could go through all of them. I mean, there's just a lot. But there was, I think, uh, for a lot of reasons, there was something special for me about that the Armed Forces Bowl with Navy. Just because 
it was quite frankly, it was one of the better games. Okay, so we, we've had a lot of blowouts, which is we I enjoy as an AD uh, in the stands. But uh, but when you have that tense moment and then the pressure comes off because you know you win in the last second. The last second field goal, we won 48-45, Jonathan Barnes kick. Uh, again, to think about that, to recap it, it was, you know, a ranked Navy team. Mm -hmm. Yes, we were closer in proximity to Fort Worth, but as you will remember, I think there were 40, 50,000 people there. And, I mean, 80 to 90 percent of them were pulling for Navy, and understandably so. It's the Armed Forces Bowl. Every military person in the Fort Worth area is going to the game, and they're cheering, cheering for Navy. I get it. Uh, and if we're not in the game – most of the time, I pull for the armed forces uh, when they're playing Army, Navy, Air Force as well. So I get it. So it kind of felt like you were on the road and you came back and won. It was a really neat deal. And speaking of that game, we did a uh, a bracket uh, since we were in March Madness and, and didn't get to experience that um, with our best game of the decade bracket. So it was every sport that Louisiana Tech has. We we seeded everybody and uh, and and created a bracket went all the way through. And then yesterday. Uh, the Navy, uh, the defeat over Navy in the Armed Forces Bowl won uh, the best game of the decade and beat a really good game, which was uh, us beating Rice in extra innings uh, in 2016 in baseball, which ultimately we wind up going on and sweeping Rice, the first time Rice has ever been swept in a series, and then uh, helped propel us into a regional. So uh, I do want to congratulate you on, on being the, what was our fans' vote through a bracket system of the game of the decade uh, at all of Louisiana Tech. So uh, really, a really cool moment. Um, great participation by the fans, but also very deserving uh, game. Uh, you know, uh, and that game, and you've talked a lot about it, but the respect that I have for the military, that our team has for the military, to have the opportunity to play in the Armed Forces Bowl. When we went to that luncheon and they showed up in their white uniforms and it was like, wow, I mean, this is, impressive and you know we we talked about for our players that were finishing up their career they were talking about what they're going to go do next and if they're going to have the opportunity to go play in the nfl and many of these men on the other team are are going to serve our country uh, and just the ultimate respect that i have for them and the commitment that they make for us to give us the freedoms to put our heads on our pillow and sleep soundly every night because of the sacrifices that so many men and women make around the country. And so that all went into that, as, as well as the bowl game, being in Fort Worth. Uh, there were just a lot of variables that went into that game, but uh, pretty awesome and what an honor because I know how big that that baseball win was at Rice that year and what that meant to our to our baseball program. So what an honor to have the opportunity to have that game selected. It was, it was it was great. A lot of great games that I can think of in my time here at Louisiana Tech. But again, I, I would agree that that game against the Navy was was really uh, was really spectacular. Well, Coach, I, I do appreciate you joining us. That's it for today with Tech Talk uh, and just helping to keep our fans informed and, and hopefully maybe a little bit entertained. I did ask Boston Scott in our last episode to dance. I think we'll spare the fans the you and I not having to dance. Uh, no, but we'll we'll leave that up to Boston since he's so good at it. <laughs> Well, I think I, I think you should. That's a smart move on your part. That's why that's why this show is so successful, Tommy. <laughs> no, the talents successful. and abilities of your guests. Yeah, it's so successful because everybody's at home and they don't have anything to do, and so well, therefore we're getting a lot of views on content. But we do my, appreciate. My wife you. is hopeful that this will end soon. Once. Yeah. Go to work and two so I can shave. So I yeah, said, this is the Corona beard going. I've got. I noticed you've got a Corona beard. I, I said I'm gonna. I am trying to let mine grow until we go back to normal. So I may wind up looking like Phil Roberts at the Doug <laughs> Dynasty by the time this thing's over with. But uh, anyway, it's a uh, it's a pleasure having you on today, Coach. I I do wish the best for you and your family. I appreciate your leadership during this time. I've, I've texted you that before, not only with your team. Uh, but even sending things to encourage other head coaches and the camaraderie that we have, camaraderie that we have with each other. And uh, I do appreciate you greatly. Uh, these are unprecedented times. And, uh, you know, where there's a void in leadership, leadership will arise. And I appreciate your leadership tremendously during this time. Well, it's mutually respect, mutual respect going back and forth with, with you as well and the leadership that you're providing this, this university, this athletic department. Certainly appreciate it because, like you said, I mean, leader, leadership is key right now, and it's lonely at the top. And so many times that 
Uh, you're looking for information, different ways to spin things, different ways, because right now leadership is what's going to get us through this for sure. So no doubt. we'll all keep banging that rock. Thank you to all the tech fans out there. I hope this tech talk finds you safe, uh, having the opportunity to spend some time uh, with family, and let's all just keep banging that rock, and hopefully we can come out of this as a, as a better country. We can come out of this as better individuals as well. You heard it here, uh, Skip Holtz, uh, this edition of Tech Talk. Thank you so much, and go dogs.